Hey, I'm Bradley Jacobs, a senior editor at Us Weekly, and this is Us Must, a look at what's new, what's hot, and what's not in entertainment this week. First up in television, Desperate Housewives returns, but with underwhelming results. The drama rebounded last year, but season six starts with a whimper. True, the burning question, will Mike, that's James Denton, marry Susan, Terry Hatcher, or Catherine, played by Dana Delaney, is answered pretty quickly. But the flashbacks that detail the preceding events are as stale as week old muffins. After all, the notion of Brie, that's Marsha Cross, cheating on her lunatic husband could hardly be considered sinful. And Gabby, that's Ava Longoria Parker, taming her rebellious niece? Pure ABC family. The writers really disappoint, however, when it comes to the neighborhood's latest secretive clan featuring Drea DiMatteo and their totally lame mystery. Talk about desperate. Next up, season two of The City. The spinoff, which follows fashion upstart Whitney Port in NYC, resumes this season with juicier, albeit contrived, conflicts. For starters, Roxy Olin, a gorgeous pal from Port's past, finagles a job next to her at PR firm People's Revolution, and brazen backstabbing ensues. Meanwhile, Olivia Palermo, now an underdog at L, butts heads with a bitchy publicist. All said, and this may be a little controversial, the gleaming and exciting city is now a more interesting destination than the hills. Over in movies, a small film we all love around here called Coco Before Chanel. Audrey Tatel looks luminous as French designer Coco Chanel in this romantic biopic, which dramatizes the designer's early years before she became a fashion icon. The young Chanel ripens from orphan to cabaret singer to rich man's mistress ultimately turning her menswear-inspired sense of style into a worldwide brand. It's a gorgeous portrait of an independent, visionary woman. And finally, over in DVDs, the third season of 30 Rock is finally hitting stores. There's a reason why Tina Fey's brilliant sitcom nabbed 22 Emmy nominations and won Best Comedy. While the high-wattage guest stars, including Oprah Winfrey, are used to hilarious effect, it's the endearing and pitch-perfect core characters who really deliver the goods. Funniest arc? Insecure Liz, that's Tina Fey, dates a too handsome guy, played by Mad Men's John Hamm, who, by the way, turns up on the bonus features along with Tina Fey. I'm Bradley Jacobs, and we'll be back next week with another edition of Us Must. In the meantime, all these reviews and more can be found in the new issue of Us Weekly magazine, on newsstands now.